of 30. David just kind of throwing back some lobs and throwing back some easy balls. Very casual, just, very casual. Yeah, just kind of, and then he'll come at you that. hard every now and then. You have to be ready at all times. Look at that. Just there it is. From nowhere, he looks like he's not doing anything, and then he pounces on you. Yeah. He also hits a very heavy ball, which it's tough to volley, but he hits it so hard, it's tough to get it to come off your paddle. No strings. Probably has more offensive advantages than any other player in the game today. Absolutely. Just long, 15-40. Peter at least did not lose his game at love Sorry. serving. <laughs> but he could be the fourth in a row to lose service. Right. We put odds on it right now that we're going to have four breaks in a row. Very difficult to actually win while you're right here at the net. With the exception of Artie's drop shot, I don't think another point has been won at the net. Bruce will try to lob down the line to Artie's side on this side so that David will get a better chance to hit one. Very close, close to the line. He's trying to keep it away from that forehand. There it comes. Oh. Oh, he didn't get there in time. Didn't get over it. You can see him inching over, though. He's sneaking, looking for the opportunity. 30-40. You can tell he's disappointed that he missed that shot. He's going to look for a return right here. Oh, he comes at it with his two-handed backhand just into the tape. It was a good serve. Good serve, exactly. Gruenberg, because it got past his forehand and forced David to play it off the net. That's right. Another great shot. This one just rolled over and already one missed that two. drop. He's one for two on that flip. Yeah. Has a very high percentage for all the offense he has. Advantage on Waller. Great there's, shot. There's the blitz That's we were the talking one, about. One two punch. The return and then the That was a bunny volley for Bruce because David's shot popped up off of the paddle of Broomberg. Two all, so Kelsey yep. will serve. They're talking about changing the ball because weather like this, the ball really takes a beating and starts to actually disintegrate at times, and you have to bring a new one into play. So the players try to agree on when they're going to switch the ball. And that was the usual time after a set? The usual Usually, time is yeah. after a set. You'll be able to play most sets with one ball, though it will be pretty chewed up by the end of the set. Now, it's, it's a solid rubber ball. That's right. right, solid rubber, heavy, with a little flocking on the outside. That flocking starts to peel away from all the spin all the and the spin. grit on the court and the, into the wires. Good serve by Bruce. He hits one of the hardest serves in the game and manages to keep it uh, from not coming out too far. There's a big forehand. A great hit by Peter. Good lobs by Artie. Set him up. Peter was on top of the serve, just tried to get it a little too low. Yeah, he looks sharp. I mean, he missed that one, but that was a good swing. Again, for those watching new to paddle, of course, the obvious difference is the one serve and playing off the screens. That's right. But the subtle difference, we're certainly seeing it here, the, the power game, and particularly the power serve, is not that big an advantage. That's right. This ball's coming way out. You see that? And Gruenberg took advantage of it. Oh, they let that one go. Oh, they thought it was going out. Yeah. Bruce's serve did come way out. Way out. It became an easy shot for Peter. It's a good 
something our friends at Green Mountain have put together a good constructed court. That's, that's right. They're Absolutely. taking a beating. That's right. Players come bounding into the side wires all and back wires all the time. There's a spike right and through. Overhead. Bruce retrieved Good it. Retrieved. David looks oh. for a big ball and hits Peter. That's something you're going to see also. Sometimes with the, the, the fellows at the net are so low to the court that you aim up high on them to try to hit him with the ball. Because the volleying is great from down low. You can get him up high and jam him. What a half volley from Bruce. Great volleying there. Settle into a little more defensive mode after they got by that you're offensive gonna, blast. You're going to see a flurry of activity and they settle into a pattern and then the activity starts again. There it is. And just, a heavy in, ball. just in case you're at home wondering, why doesn't the team at the net just slam it into the uh, into the court, bounce it over the netting, you lose the point. When the so ball goes right. out of the ball play. has to right. stay in the, within the court boundaries. And a great return by Artie. All of you at home saying, boy, I, I could win every point. That's nope. right. They've already thought of that. That's going to go wild. We're back to Deuce. Bruce is battling in his serve. Challenge Peter. Challenge that was about 120 mile an hour <laughs> serve, and Peter swung away at it. Advantage, Kelsey. That's a great volley yeah. by Bruce. Artie made a terrific shot, and Bruce kept that ball in play. Have a chance here for a one first hole to hole, serve. Potential hole. Artie also likes to hit a real high lob. Luckily, there are no clouds up there. Catch some rain. <laughs> Peter rolled it in and taken over the net. A little off speed drive. As we've seen so far though, the net is not necessarily an advantage. It's true. That's, That's the, the first ball in the nick and David played it nicely, kept it in play. Just nice rolled volley. that over nicely, yep. Artie was ready for it, made a good volley yeah. back, nice and deep. The key to the volley is keeping it deep so they can't get an offensive edge off a short ball. Uh, another good hard volley and Bruce wasn't quite ready. He couldn't reload after he hit that forehand. We go back to Deuce here in game five, first set, we're tied at two apiece. Spin. Nice low Smart ball. Smart move by Artie. So, right. that get? Well, again, uh, Bruce is in the wrong side. They'll have to they switch. switch right away. You get used to playing one side of the court. And it becomes a disadvantage if you get switched and out of position. So you want to get back as quickly as you can. Hope that your partner can put a lob up and get you back over there. It was a great ball. Look at that. Great oh. ball. That cord. Let court got him. That's yeah. what David does so well right there. He flipped it right, right off his ankles. Just so that it was a nothing ball, but it skips the top of the net, and that's painful. Advantage Kelsey. Playing for the 95 APTA National Championship. I would think the winner of this match will be the number one team in the nation. Bruce went for another hard serve. Just missed a little long. He sort of hurt himself this game. Three faults this game. Mm -hmm. Tough. It's a battle. Got to get it in play. There's a blitz. And take over the net. Yeah, now if it was colder, that ball would sort of suck into the back wire there and be tougher to get. Today it comes right back out and easy play. You can see that ball is turning from that nice bright yellow to uh, getting almost difficult to see any color on it anymore. Break now point we're, now opportunity. we're going to see about the serve here. Advantage Williams. And a great Good serve by Bruce. He hit it. He nailed it away from that one. 
going to see Artie and Peter be very patient back here. We'll wait for an opportunity to hit. There it is. Good hands by David. Spike. And there, there it is. is. Yeah. Williams the, went up high for that He liked the overhead. That's right. We call, that dunk. One, call that one a spike. You're actually trying to hit an overhead to hit high off the screen to come back off the back wire. I, and I you think don't they're hit. changing the ball. Here's a look at that last point. Watch for the spike by yeah. Williams. The lob goes up and the overhead is hit a little too short when it comes. The point is still in play. Here it comes, right? Okay. Made that the was a Here good that was short. a good volley by David at that point. Yep. And then when this overhead, Bruce is trying to get it from the side wire to the back wire, but doesn't make it to the back wire. Already jumps up is. and spikes it, and it's hit like a rocket, and David can't handle the volley. He's got fast hands, but tough to volley that ball. Yeah. Williams will be serving. We're waiting for a hold. We're waiting serve. for a hold. That's it. There will be a hold. That's we right. will predict. There will be a hold to serve. It looks like the team that's yeah. gonna, that will hold first <laughs> could, could possibly win. That's right. Advantage. Could win the match. David, we know the feeling. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I think we were broken 52 consecutive <laughs> times, I think, this morning. In the super reprieve round, that was it. You got to battle. That's, I mean, that's, that's what right. you, you really got to get the serve in. You got to get in there and make some shots. They've, they've switched the ball, so they're loosening it up a little bit. I was going to say, some right. players are going to test out the well, ball. Well, it also warms up a little it's bit. A very, so it's better. much more solid now. But it's tough to serve with the new ball. It's a little it is. You heard Williams say that he ha he couldn't see. And when you're on that far side of the court to our left, you're looking right up into the That's sun. It, yeah. it makes a difference in the overhead. You don't want to be hanging any of these overheads up. You heard him on the serve. Yeah. Now, again, he's going back to the side that he had trouble with. So let's see if he yeah. does any kind of adjustment if he can. The hat goes down that lower. Hat right? Way down. As soon as you toss, you're looking right into the setting sun. No nope, good drive. Yeah, good return by Bruce. Gotta watch out for Bruce's forehand. Another fall, but again, that Artie's trying to hit it very short up into the uh, David's backhand to try to negate some of that offense, and it forces a, a fault. Typical, you get a chance, Bruce goes for something probably a little too much for him to try Absolutely. at that point. That's a good serve. David is letting him come into the wires. He'll be take his time and look for an opportunity. He's coming up a little closer. He's looking for that two-handed backhand to hit. There it is. You can see him looking to set that up. In addition to having the big power, he also hits That's the great. speed ball. It makes you wave at it up at the net. Everybody is very anxious during all these points, all the family members watching. It gets difficult to to watch matches like this that much take so tougher, long. It's tougher to watch than, than play. To play. Absolutely. David's mom is always anxious when he's playing. So is all the rest of the family. But Bruce's family's here, Artie and Peter's family. It's a real New Jersey get together here. Wind takes it wide. There you see our view and you see the glare coming off the court and that's another thing the players have to be concerned with but certainly that is looking almost into the setting sun. Bruce trying to pump David up here on the serve. Yeah. He knows how important a hold will be. Two missed returns here. Good, oh. uh, good ball right down at Bruce's feet. Couldn't flick it back up. 
just about to say, let's not get too excited because it's 30 miles. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're, at, we're, we're within range though, Paul. This is a big return right here for Audi to get it back to 30 all. David hit a great Good serve. Turf. Artie was anticipating one to his forehand. There's no ten. Great volley and a good dig out of the backhand wires by Art. Bruce yelling you. Talking about the have to know who's gonna hit those overheads. No mistake, you don't want to both be watching a ball. Let it drop between you. Bruce hits one in the nick, and Peter plays it out nicely. You can see the wind holding the ball up when it gets way up there. Hardy uses that high lob very effectively, but I don't know if he can do it with the wind. Ooh, there's a break right there. Yeah. All right, we are at 40-50. Uh -oh. We have not had anyone hold service today. It'd be a standing ovation seven. if they hold. <laughs> David served a great oh, ball. Perfect serve. Great an serve. ace. An ace and a hold. That's what it takes to win a game. Uh, well, they got a few breaks that game. Here is the serve. Great. You get a chance to see that. Hits it right to the corner, going right into the corner right in of the, the corner. court, and comes out at an angle that Peter just cannot get. It's a terrific serve. Unfortunately, we can't serve those all the time. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, it didn't hit off, it uh, went side, then back screen. It, rather than come back towards the net, it, it come, almost went, back wide. went along the back wire. Just Parallel depends. to the net. Those can go both ways. They yep. can go along the side wire or out there, and you're, you're trying to guess right, and uh, there was no play. It wasn't that hard, but sometimes the hard serve doesn't help you. During the, during the points, the, the, your partner will have to cover a shot like that for you. Normally, the player that's on the side has to press near the side wires right. in case the ball comes up that side, and that's, that's the ball he has to hit. If it comes bounding back into the court, you're, he, that ball's expected to be picked up by your partner. They have a good partner like David. He covers all those balls out of the nick except for me. For, except for today. <laughs> Three or four chances. It gets harder in the third set when that's your legs right. don't want to move. Tired. That, that might be a factor also. We should mention that uh, Kelsey and Omar had a three-setter, a yes. three-setter this morning, and if this match goes on, especially Kelsey will have to see if he can hold up. He had an incredibly long three-setter, especially that first set took forever. Great volley right to the baseline. There's the, the ball. Ooh, nice great scoop. get by Bruce. Quick hands. David was not going to be there. Bruce went right to the corner, hoping that that was going to come out. It didn't. He had to put it up defensively. A lot of balls being hit to Bruce's backhand. They're trying to keep the ball so it cannot be offensively hit. Now there's there a is. there's a loss of point right there. You cannot hit the ball out of the court. Got a bad ball. break there. I think. Yeah, it took it a did. weird bounce. The off ball the hit screen. the top of the metal and right. it, it angled up out over the court. Normally, uh, you can get a catch a break, hit the metal, and bound and stay in the court. It's a tough spot to hit. Tough though. spot. There's the ripper. David with a good backhand, but Peter was up to the test with that volley. Bruce with a rip. Volley. Flirting with that high. The ball's bounding a lot That's higher that. than they expect. There's a slash, a lot of underspin, trying to slide it and keep it low. Bruce dug it out nicely, though. See, David is patiently he's way back. You see him start to step up into the court, then you know he's going to start to look for a little more offensive shot. Here's a tester right here, love 30. Bruce is going to look to fire. Peter, get the net cord. Get the net cord. That was a little he's tight. Not, I think he's looking to try to serve one up the center of the court here. Looks. 
right down the middle. Too good. It just allows Bruce to take a free swing at it. I don't think David will hold back at Love 40. I don't think this, so either. This ball's anywhere in his range. I You're going to see going, it. I see he's going to Peter. He's going at Artie. Oh, good serve, though. That was a good serve right there. Love 40. We can... He was looking for it, but he knew the serve was too good. Now we'll see them be patient, I believe. I look for their chance, but at Love 40, you want to make them work to come oh. back. Both Peter and Artie can't really afford to do much with this at this point, they have to make sure they keep it in play where David and Bruce can take a swing at it when they get a chance. There it comes. It's a great volley. It's, it's curving back. on the line. Oh, a great get. It's a great get. Chelsea's showing some speed there. I give Artie and Peter credit. They didn't try to get that point back right away. They have settled back in. Oh, spoke a little too soon. He tried to get it yeah. back a little early. It happens, and unfortunately, you get a point where the tables turn, and you try to get it back too quickly. Very tough. Very tough to come back after that. So it's 5-3, and Kelsey will be serving for the first set. And Bruce did not get away with that hard serve, but he did with that return right there. Some uncharacteristic errors from Peter there. Might be pressing a little bit. That's a great return. Good Let volley. Court. Let court. It went high on him again. Peter was looking for the ball down by his knees. David got him right under the armpit. He's got the hat turned around now, though. <laughs> Could be the key. I think he turned it around when they held last time. <laughs> Bruce serve. is still firing. Firing away. If you notice when he hits it that hard, he, does, he didn't even come into the no, net behind he, it. Bruce knows that he, uh, if that ball comes off the wire, Peter is going to drive it. What Peter has to do is drive it with a little patience, a little ease. That's a great volley by great Bruce. Great slash volley. Let that one hit the edge of the line. at a couple of set points here. Three set points. Man, he serve. I don't know anyone else in the game that hits the serve as hard as Bruce. Oh, 40, 15. I think that hit David or David hit oh. the net on the oh. play. Charlie Stevens acting as our umpire for this match yes. made the call. Bruce moved over, made that volley. David was back. Is that overhead again? Ooh. Ooh. Tried Went to, to flip, flip, that, flip that back in. 40-30. Bruce wants this. He's going to fire this ball, as, I think, as hard as he can serve it, right to this backhand corner. Try to nail it right into the corner of the court. And lucky that's been coming out down towards Peter's side. It hasn't popped out straight so hard he can get a swing out of it. It's a good serve. Good again. Made him play it on the backhand. Now he's got an open. Peter looking to Peter try to blitz a little bit. Sometimes you hit a good lob, you can come in and pick off an easy overhead. That's one of those sky lobs. Try to let the wind move it around. That's definitely a factor. Already looking to hit something if he gets the chance. Especially curving the wide. That, it was out of the court anyway. Out. Either way, it would have lost the points. First, uh, First set, set goes to Kelsey and Omohler, 6-3. Went through that ball, blew it about five or six feet That's out right. there. It's a good lob the when it started. Are tough. Now, David has been really hot this year. He's been, uh, the, he's won every tournament that he's played and with different partners. We're going to take a short break at this point with Kelsey and Olmoller having won the first set by a score of 6-3. We'll be right back to the 1995 ATPTA Nationals right after the short pause. Timing. Rolex. 
Performance. Performance. Rolex. Precision. Rolex. Strength. Rolex. The choice of champions. Rolex. Hi, I'm Bill Grant, host of The Suburban Gym. Join me along with experts in the fields of health, fitness, and nutrition as we discuss various ways in which you can live a more healthful lifestyle. So be sure to join me on The Suburban Gym, Mondays at 9 p.m. and Saturdays at 11.30 a.m. only on Suburban Cablevision TV3. This is a look at the setup here at the Montclair Golf Club. The two courts that most of the action took place on were the temporary courts, but there are a number of courts that are used here at the club for the benefit of the members. What a great setup. Uh, again, Green Mountain Platform Tennis setting up the courts. Again, our thanks to Larry Chapin, tournament director, for all his help. And of course, Charlie Stevens, the president of the APTA for his hospitality, and he's also doing a great job as our umpire for this championship match. You're watching the championship match of the 95 APTA Nationals. You're watching the defending champions, Gruenberg and Williams, and they are having a tough time right now. Kelsey and Olmuller won the first set 6-3. Art Williams will be serving. They have not held yet. The new ball. Change the ball again after just a few short games. Yeah. Three games. Bruce playing the wires very deftly. See, already squinting as he's looking up. David always looking to come in behind that ball. is just kind of picking away at the lineup at the net, see what they would do with a little ball that was flipped at them. David doing the same thing. Just tried to roll it over. Fifteen Love. I'm Paul Spahala with me, Scott Estes, David Fair. Gentlemen, real quick on the ball change, is that something the players have to ask the umpire, or does the umpire do that at his discretion? Well, normally the ball is changed at the end of the set, so right. we mentioned that, and this was the beginning of the second set, but... I think all players have to agree, basically, to change it. Uh, these guys are all friends, and uh, it's better paddle when the ball's in better shape, so I think they're, they're just sort of agreeing on it. 30 love. Serve. Bruce with a good get out of the wires, keeping in play. Well, we lost that obviously in the sun. Even in the backcourt, Peter holding his hand up can't. What's tough to do is with the sun, they can't track the ball around the screens, and it's tough to, to be ready for the offense if they're, they lose it for a second. There's another Nick. partner know if the lob is going to be good make sure you hit it David said I don't know and it was deep 30 15 David twisting that paddle Bruce comes in off a nice terrific coach. drive great volley by Hardy and Bruce then finishes off takes the net. Now you got to settle into the defensive action. That's where the warm weather hurts a little bit. That ball came flipping out just enough so Artie can grab it. Right. Normally that's right. The point would have ended. That was a great Ooh, nice drive. Forehand. Great drive by Peter. Peter was looking for it. David tried to cross. 
Bruce is uh, admonishing himself for hitting that ball a little too short to Peter's forehand. Saying, what am I Bruce thinking? Is, Bruce is usually a little fiery. We know that. Very intense. He wants it bad. They're also looking to unseat these defending champs. Can't Great see the lob, lob again. Can not see it. They turned and headed for cover early on. The sun is really playing a factor. Look at the wind blow the ball also. David. David fought off that volley right at the volley. center. Here comes another one. It forced Artie to yeah. go for a little too much. 40-30. Scott, what do you think Artie and Peter have to do to change this around a little bit? I think right now Artie's got to calm down a little bit. Artie yeah, is over swinging. Could be pressing a little bit, feeling the pressure of yeah. being the defending chance. That's for sure. Absolutely. We, we don't have to worry about that. You and I, so. <laughs> well, Not I for a few years. Maybe next well. year. Maybe forever, Paul. <laughs> I'll tell you, if you get get the right partner. That's I was lucky right. enough this year to play with David Omel in the New Jersey Men's State Championships, and we won. Great forehand. A terrific point, and it was against Bruce. So David has played against his own partner and beaten him at times. Well, Artie and Peter have a great record throughout this year and throughout their partnership. I think they've been in 15 of 18 tournaments that they played, and they've been in the finals which is unbelievable. And David Omeler can just about win with anybody, I would say. That's right, he's won with, one with four, four or different five partners. different people this year. And, and he's personally beaten Scott and I with two different partners. Uh, two different partners. <laughs> and beaten us pretty senseless, I would say. <laughs> I've seen a lot, lot, of, lot of errors here from Peter and Artie, and now all of a sudden... I think they're just pressing a little trouble. bit. They've got to be confident that they can stay in the match and not try to do too much. It's going to be a big serve here. You got to buy him. Oh, he's... Uh, Artie looks like he twisted something there. And he went back for that ball. He's he still hopping around right there. There's a nick, yeah. but Peter covered it. Nice teamwork. Which is interesting because Artie lives in Chicago and Peter plays here in New Jersey and they are probably one of the most consistent teams playing even though they don't get to practice with each other. Looks like Artie's okay. We'll see after this point. Yeah, a three-fourths New Jersey final here. Well, Artie's really a New Jersey guy also. Let ball. Oh, that's a tough way. Very a tough way to lose the points. Yeah. But, th but this is what happened. The matches are close. And a let ball, a nick, miss, you know, one easy miss or a fall, and uh, it turns quickly. That's right. Scott, not to, uh, <laughs> not to uh, put any uh, reason on why uh, David would choose to play with you, <laughs> but uh, wh why would a guy choose partner, uh, change partners for uh, another tournament, especially when well, his partner is, is in that same tournament? Actually, he, he didn't change for that tournament. You have a tendency to play some tournaments with different partners. The New Jersey State's Bruce Kelsey has played with Steve Nickham, and Bruce and Steve won that tournament for the past four years. They were going for five in a row. I just happened to be at the right spot at the right time and asked if David would like to play with me. And we went out and had a tremendous three-hour battle, 7-6, tiebreaker, 8-6 That was eight, an unbelievable match, sort of like the semifinal match this I have morning. to thank David for, for all his efforts to, to uh, help us attain that championship. That was his first New Jersey men's state championship also. Interestingly enough, most times in paddle, you're taking off layers of clothing as the match goes That's on. Correct. But here, we're, we're closing in on uh, 4 o'clock. It's getting a, a little windier. We might... Will will we see players start to add a layer or two? I don't I don't think so. These guys are all pretty much shorts guys. You'll see sometimes yeah. in about 20 degrees they add the shorts on. People think they're crazy, but when you're moving around, if it went three sets, you'd probably see some change of shirts. Right. But that's about it. All right, Omel, uh, excuse me, uh, Kelsey serving. Peter with a good return. Nice drive. Something I think he had to do, and Peter had the presence of mind. Bruce served him a little easier, and Peter went for a nice, easy return. Right, over swing. Right, just put it back in, and they took the net over. Now they have to watch this point here. David's in close, and right. he, he keeps right. flipping the ball at you. I still have to watch out for Bruce's chip. He looks like he's going to lob it on the backhand side, and he throws in a chip. 
control the opposition. That's that lob down the line to try to set David up. For the most part, they've been doing a pretty good job of keeping David off the forehands there with the overhead. You can see the overheads going into the corners, but no one's really being beaten by any balls being hit. That's because the players are very defensive minded. They know all they have to do is just wait ball will come around the wires and give them the chance to put it up and put it back in play. So when you're at the net, you're really just trying to watch out for shots like that. Well, I was going to ask that the slash looks to be a shot that could be a great winner. Absolutely. But That's at, right. at this level, is it maybe less effective because the, all the players are so good? A, sla a good slash a is, good is slash a way is to win a point at the net. But what you need is a little shorter lob. Right. The, as long as the lobs are hit high and somewhat, you know, in the middle of the court, it's difficult to slash a ball. That Nick, right up the wire. Yeah. They already anticipated it was going to come back down the, to the middle of the court and went right up the side wire and he was caught flat-footed. Bruce is way off the, the top the of his paddle, but he's trying to hit it very hard. He's serving very well, though, with the, with the pace he's putting on the ball. He's putting it in the box. Yeah, he's not being hurt by it at all, really, yet. It's a great return nice by him. Good thing David didn't listen. And they switch. There's a, there there was a right slash. There. That was a Didn't, slash. If you notice, that ball was about his waist level when he slashed it. Right. And that's why it really carried away from Bruce. And, oh, and practically unreturnable. Definitely. Peter could not hit that one off the wire. They're fighting that sun also. Peter and Artie know too well that the balls going up here are difficult for them, so they're not hesitating to keep putting that ball up in the air. And then all of a sudden, you want to hit. It's a good ball to hit. Artie just came over the top of it a little too much. 40-30. Artie is really trying to time Bruce's serve. It's fast ball against a big swing. There it is. It's another Bruce, hold. Bruce changed up, though. It was a good, a little good move. Off he, he put it, and he also put it down the center of the court, forced Artie to come way into the center. And Artie swung, went off the top of his paddle. Every hold is a big hold. Absolutely. Rejected by the net. There. Bruce had a good swing at that one. Right now, I'd have to say the advantage so far has is, is been, been serving. I'd say Dave and Bruce have served better than Artie and Peter. Well, Artie and Peter have yet to win any serve. That's right, they haven't. So oh for five. It may not be just because of the fact that, you know, the, the serve itself, but here I would say that there has been a definite advantage. Bruce's serving has been excellent. excellent and David has, a, has actually served very well for him, too. Right, that's that's probably the one thing that he does normally <laughs> in terms of that. And uh, he's really perked it up. They really haven't heard him on the drives. He looks so casual back there, but he's ready to spring into action. There's that chip. Conserving his energy. That's right. Nice flip. You see David get out of the way because Artie could have hit him with that ball. If he gets out of the way, let's Bruce cover the court. And then you get back into the pattern. Bruce is looking for his forehand. Yeah, you can very see patient. that. He's got it cocked and he's loaded up there, <laughs> ready right. to go. There's the slash. That just came out. See the light pole shaking on that as they reel off the wires. It's green mountain fences. They're holding up well. They're holding up well.
Very patient from Bruce. Bruce wants this title badly. Bruce got David out onto the courts when he was about 15. They teamed up in New Jersey State League play. Someone said, well, why don't you let David try over there in that ad court? Bruce said, okay, put him over there. All it took was one time, and they never changed from that point. I saw so Williams and Groomberg there settle into a good pattern, made Bruce get a little impatient there. You can tell he's not too pleased with himself. Big hit, nice volley from Peter. It was, it was a great return. Great return to serve. That's what I'm saying. Peter's serving is not that strong at this point. The, the ball is sitting up, and they're really Bruce getting a good swing at it. Really tee off on it. That's good eye by good Peter. Eye. Let's it Ar fall Artie wide. Artie said he couldn't help. Forty love. Yeah, this is what they want. Good volley. A great volley there. David hit a great return. Peter came back to Bruce, and Bruce was. Just caught a little by surprise that went to his backhand for that volley. I think that hold maybe will settle him down a little bit. I think they were starting to think that it was going to be a tough, tough afternoon for serving. But now I think that maybe they'll settle him down a little bit and to a pattern. Well, David Olmuller yeah. will be serving with a 2-1 advantage. They won the first set 6-3. Yeah. Playing for the 95 APTA National yeah. Championship. Some of the fans out there without shoes on. In the, That's in the right, back. that Andy Kinney. Andy Kinney. Who was involved in that long three-set match with Bruce up there in the stands enjoying this match. I think we also have to thank the lineal group, the lineal group grant for the Grand Prix series. This is the last tournament, and, it, and uh, lineal's done a great job supporting paddle the whole year, uh, providing jackets, everything, everything, uh, great tournaments all over. I think there are how many, four events, right? Four events, the four events. There was one in Chicago, Philadelphia, Greenwich, and uh, Brooks, uh, Brookside. And Brookside, exactly. Right, and this is the Nationals also counting for lineal points for a money pool for some of the players. Peter with a good swing. Peter seems to be picking it up a little bit. One of Peter Groomberg's strongest points is return to serve, as is Artie's. David tying those gray Reeboks. He wants to make sure that... Making a fashion statement, no <laughs> doubt. Right. In case you're just joining us, a little earlier today, Sue Harry and Jerry Vion won the women's championship in three sets. That's not a tight and tight enough. No, that ball either that, I paddle. think that return may have loosened him up again. <laughs> <laughs> David looking at uh, two points from a from a break here. It's a big game right here. Lot 30. Peter will be looking to return it. Bruce with a great volley right to the baseline. Peter still looking like he's having trouble with the sun. Yeah, they're, they're really battling it back in the corner there. He's keeping, yeah, puts that hand up. You know he's in trouble. The wind is blowing and the sun is... It's actually affecting the overheads too a little bit. Those soft overheads are drifting a little bit more. Cool. And I think Peter got impatient. He'd rather Very not impatient. be fighting those balls coming out of the sun, so he swung at something. Probably should not have swung it. Yeah, we asked the finals got started about an hour late because of the long first set that uh, Kelsey and Olmuller played before. Then they were moved to the adjoining court to let the women start about an hour late, as I mentioned. So, combine wind with setting sun, and well, maybe if we go three sets, a little bit of darkness it could be interesting if we do reach set three. I think the players would like it if it got. A little darker. A little they wouldn't darker, mind playing wouldn't under the play lights. You would actually see the ball a little bit better. Bruce gets out of the way, flips it back. Just hit that short overhead. David looking to keep hitting it. There he comes. The two-hander, but they jammed him, so he Got couldn't jammed. swing at it. It's a good play to keep it in the court. Especially when they throw the lobs up into the center. You're going to see David really look to come in. Uh, 
touch. Nice Bruce play. dug it out of the wires. One of his toughest ball. shots is to play that ball coming directly out of the side wire there on the slow ball. Bruce did it well. Forehand, nice drop volley. David's there. You know, he tried to cut it back. Tried to go back. Too much angle there. Would have been better to go down the middle, but it's easy to call him from up here. We had plenty of time. 15-40. No chance for Grunberg and Williams to tie up set number two. Oh, they floated the net. Get. There's a drop. Bruce goes for it oh, and hits went it long. That went for too much there. Sorry, partner. And that's what happens. We are at two and two. Nice recovery. Back to two. Nice recovery by Peter and Artie. Right. They looked like they were on the verge of uh, teetering a little bit. Artie was a little bit wild, but they're settling back. And Artie's got a chance to get a lead here in the second set. Mark Williams with the serve. He's 0 for 3 serving so far. Slash. It hits Bruce. It hit Bruce. Hit Bruce after, after it hit the, hit deck, the, hit the court yes. in in play, so it the point in, counts. Hit in, then hit him right uh, right near the knee guard. Yeah. Game that may may be turning here a little bit, a little it's momentum big. going to Artie and Peter, and paddle can be a game of streaks. You can get it when you get some when momentum. It, when it goes, it goes fast. Yeah. Looks like it's changing a little bit. It's a great lob. I don't know if you could see that one either. They switch as well now. They're switching back. Peter was looking for that for him. Nice play. at that one. Yeah, he did. He just tried to get make it a little too close. Went to the high part of the net. Yeah. Tough to sneak it by. Good drive by David. David yeah. came right out and hit that ball in the perfect spot. Bruce yelled no, but David volleyed it. It's an out ball. Sometimes it's so close it's tough to let him go. There's, There's a, a nice good drive, drive through. David There's makes nice the play. Here. Very close to that sideline. Tough from our vantage point. Charlie Stevens gonna start earning his money now. It's a very tough ball to call as a slash coming yeah. down fast right at the feet. Coming down the low angle. Have some shadows. Hits and skips. Right. We have some shadows. We don't. Are they calling Artie's out? calling it 30 all. 30 all. Having trouble seeing that overhead. Oh. Boy, that's a rare, a, rare, a rare mistake, mistake from Bruce. Right there, and he is contemplating in, in the corner. In the corner. <laughs> 40, it's a lonely 30. corner when you're in there by yourself after a long like that. A nice try. There's a great volley by Peter. What a shot. This is what we mean. Fast action. Those Fast were great action. shots. Great Those return, great volley, two, great right, get. Two exceptional volleys there. And now it looks like nothing out. happened. They're back That's in right. <laughs> defensive mode. Five great shots, nothing to show for it. There's a Nick, There's a Nick and nice David play. with a good acrobatic the gyroscope. Throw it back. The gyro going. Oh, he got, got, he got that volley. one too. Oh, David having to work a little bit. Here comes the forehand. Here comes. Oh, oh, great volley, and he loves it. Like Ruinberg. Bang, bang. A one-timer from the slot. <laughs> Ruinberg hit it with a blocker. That was a goal. <laughs> Looks like Mike Richter on that. He's a big <laughs> Rangers fan. What a <laughs> shot by Ruinberg for the winner. That's a big game That's for them. That's a big game because that is a they big were, game. like we said before, they were a little bit on the verge, and now they're coming back. Here's a look at it. From down low. What? Nice lob. Peter goes back battling that sun. There's the short one. Look at this. Oh, there it was. The great play. Backhand blocker. Great play. He'll, he'll be talking about that one later. <laughs> <laughs> we 
he'll be able to tell those twins of his. That's right. That great volley there to keep themselves in the match here in the second set. So it is 3-2 now, Williams and Gruenberg. A good crowd on hand for today's Brave APTA crowd Nationals. Here, fighting the high winds here at the Montclair Golf Club. We're in an open area. Winds are gusting about 30 miles an hour, it's I would say. It's, it's a little cool a little here cool. from our vantage point. Enjoying it up well, here, also though. Also, we have a, it's a good pretty view. much an all-New Jersey final, so it, that helps uh, in the crowd, the crowd category. Unfortunately, these tournaments are usually held over the weekend, and you have a lot of players coming in on the uh, first day on a Saturday, and then many of them are eliminated, and they tend to you know, leave and go back, so they don't see some of the action in the finals. So. Yeah, 256 men took part in the tournament this year, 128 women. Bruce to serve with a new ball. Peter comes out swinging. That dead ball, tough to hit that drive on it said that ball is not quite as lively when it comes out solid right now. Artie have to hit it a little harder. And he does. <laughs> you don't have to worry about pace with Artie. They're settling right in. This is a big game right here. Momentum's going in Gruenberg and Williams' favor. He said, we think that both Peter and Artie have decided just to ease it up a little bit and have playing a little bit more under control, haven't been making the mistakes they did earlier. Here comes a slash and a drop. That's a oh. great slash drop. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's the other problem with the slash. He can go with the heavy slash or the slow ball drop shot. And impossible to retrieve. I think he liked that one. He's over there talking. That one hit the court and almost stuck right to it. Absolutely. It did. It was so had much spin no on it. Bounce to it. That's, a, that's one where you're running Bruce for about six fall. miles. Usually with Bruce Fultz, he comes back out and hits it harder. That's a good serve. He did it. Nice call. Son, control drive. He's coming That's back. That's great. Again. Bruce made no attempt to volley that ball. He knew it was going to be by him. He's played off the back wire. Again. No, not yet. They had a wait. Now they'll switch. Ooh, comes no. a slash. In trouble. Got him in trouble. Is right. Yeah, bad lob. Bad lob. And then they didn't make the switch. When you have a team out of position, is there anything you can do to take great advantage of that immediately? Well, you know that when a player is not used to the side that they're playing on, you try to spin the ball on the wires because usually they're not used to those angles. Uh, and if you try to catch them on a switch like that, you can drop a ball and they're running in a different direction. Bruce is a little angry. He falls away that game. It's, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Bruce especially reacts here. They had things pretty much going their way. They and, uh, did. Is that four games four in two. a row? Four yeah. games in a row. Four, two, four in a row. It looks like we said the momentum had changed, and Arnie and Peter picked it up. They did a good job hanging in there. That's one of the things. you got to hang in there. It's a big service game for Peter. The thing is that they know that their the serve is going to be hit. You got that by. You're going to see. Now, remember, Kelsey and Olmuller had won five games in a row, three to close out the first set, two to start this yeah. set. So. As you fellas yeah, have mentioned, it is a game, of, a very a game of big swings. Well, that's the one thing you can hang in there long enough to get the momentum to switch back. Here's another high lob. They won't mind those up there on this side, though. Good volley. You can also see the... Williams and Grunberg's volleys are getting much sharper here as we're getting deeper into the match. Hardy says I have it. Puts it to Bruce's backhand. Oh, nice and deep. David digs him out of the wire. That ball been. hit the seat. There it is again. Bruce made a good get. Mm -hmm. 
beating David over those wires yet, though. Just putting them back up. Very steady. Connect. What's in that middle? Bruce is going to hit Here's an opportunity to notice the slow drive. If he hit that drive any harder, it would have come back at him. Yeah, that was the key. Bruce played it under control, made a nice shot. Peter tried to take a little too much, uh, try to get that point back quickly again. 15 all. Oh, he laid off that. Bruce had a real rip at it. He was admonishing himself on that deuce court side. Good serve. Another good, good serve. serve from Peter. I think you find it. If there's a place to serve David, it's down the center. Down make the him center. move, move him out. The farther you can make him move before he hits, the better off you are. 40-15. Chance to move up 5-2. Let's see what Chelsea do. Oh, the fault. A little short there. That was a break. Bruce had been missing a few balls. They're, they're certainly going to accept that at that point. Good serve again. That was a good that volley. Ball, that two -hander. Great Bruce volley. Bruce never picked it up. Great ball. Peter made a good ball. He thought Artie was going to volley it, and it came by him, and he managed hard, to make a good reflex volley. The hard volley. volley did it right there. Bruce has yeah. got great hands, but it was too fast for him. I think maybe the glare off the court might have caused that. See, this return is going to go by Artie, and Peter's going to be caught a little bit by surprise, makes the quick-handed shot, and here he puts a good force behind it, and Bruce can't handle no, it. Never saw it. Never saw it. Players are relaxing in between so games. Good David, look. David looking at the, is it time to change balls? Looks, sounds pretty solid. Just on the uh, walkway between the two courts, and checking out the sun, is uh, Peter and Larry Arden Chapin. Standing behind Larry, our, our camera tournament operator. Director. Our tournament director. We have to thank Larry Chapin for inviting us to come up here and uh, make Enjoying cool ourselves this afternoon <laughs> on, on television. But the one thing I notice about Larry, he's got a hot cup of coffee and, and we are freezing to death. That's right. right. Larry forgot to tell us this was going to be outdoors here today. <laughs> <laughs> we, You're on the air, Larry. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Smile for that camera, Larry. There, there we are. Okay. In our cold weather. There we are. <laughs> all right. Back to set two. The old molar is serving. Quite a streak here for Gromberg and Williams. And we are staring at a third set. Uh, Peter fighting off the sun, letting Artie come over and take a lob. Very difficult when you're actually hitting at players that are looking into the sun because you have such a good view of the ball, you think they see it better than they do. That's right. And it's hard to realize that they're fighting it. There's another volley great from Peter. Volley. Peter has really picked First up his up. volley. First said he was a little okay. shaky, and now not only is he making the volleys, but they're stiff. They're on a roll. Yeah, love 30. Five games in a row. Look at that return. That was drilled. And another great volley. Right, right. He can't see it. Bruce nice play by Artie. Bruce on the wrong side, and he gets beaten. That's one of the first times we've, been, we've had someone miss in the wires. Bruce was on the wrong side of the court. Triple break point, triple set point. The lead serve. serve. That was a little tight off there. You see, got David, 40. David basically just pushed that serve. He didn't really hit it. Got to keep on hitting the ball. Oh, try. There it is. Pressed a little bit too much. So we will head to the third set as Grunberg and Williams win set two by a score of 6 2. Oh, this is very oh, no interesting. That's right. National set. championships. Is normally, if you get to 6 all, you'll play a 12 point tiebreaker. National championship, this final set will be played out. So I we don't could be know here if I have enough like clothes. Like, I think it's like the Davis Cup. <laughs> you can really see the confidence flowing from Williams and Grunberg. Their drives are starting to get sharper. The volleys by Grunberg are great. Good communication. 
Chelsea and Elmont are a little bit shaky at this point. They're reeling. I would say that it's gonna, all it's going to take, though, is a little offense from Bruce and David, and you'll see them spring right back into life. Oh, absolutely. Well, Williams and Grunberg did a good job at 2-0 down to hang yeah. in there. I think you're going to see these guys are, are well-seasoned. They and have to stop their momentum, and I think it's going to take some real good shots. Bruce trying to pump up David. David's saying one set. He knows yeah. that he just has to play one set for the national championship. Well, He's going to hit. There's no turning back now. Peter fought off that point. Oh, he had a very tough time seeing it. Nice dig. There's that slow one. Great Bruce catch. gets it. There's that tough ball off the side wire. They're one. working him over. This was going to be hit. Yeah, it's too fast. You saw him load up early for that one. <laughs> yes, you can the see. The roundhouse. It was like a bolo punch. <laughs> that overhead just comes back off that back wire too far out. You that know David's going to swing forehand away. That was right there. <laughs> see, Bruce, nope. though, trying to pick up the pace. He recognizes that a little offense is going to turn the tide. No footwork, though, on that one. No, that's right. Hmm. Right. He knows it too. Bruce's backhand drive off the wire is one of the best in the games, but he just was a little casual at that point. And the serve was long. Already trying to force it so David couldn't drive it. This is what we're talking about. When Bruce gets a swing at this and they get a break. It could change this. You know, it's a good serve. He made sure he made that one. Made him make, make the volley. Yeah. Especially at 15.40. Nice take there. Oh, oh the sun. Lost sun. it in the sun again. I think if Williams and Grunberg had their choice, they would have liked to serve from this side, the near side, because that sun is brutal. That's and true. The string has been broken. Game to Kelsey and Omoler. Here's a look uh, again at the sun that the players on the far side of the court are looking into. And doesn't take uh, a visit to Stonehenge for me to tell you that uh, as this match wears on, the setting sun is going to bother the players on the far court even more. Absolutely. The problem is is that that sun gets lower and balls right. that are coming at you that really would be easy to hit become very difficult. A very high lob you actually goes up out of the sun and you can have an easier time making a play on the that. The glare is tough. Uh, David, okay. I don't think we should talk about it. <laughs> so with a break here, and break and we're reaction. tied at one set apiece and one game into set number three, we are going to take a short pause and we'll be back with our remainder of the third and final set right after this for the Montclair Golf Club. I guess they... There's millions of people out there who manage their own money. At Waterhouse, I think we are particularly proud that our commission rates are among the lowest of any nationwide discount broker. You take a trade of 200 shares at $25. Schwab will charge you $89. Fidelity charges $88.50. And Quicken Riley charges $60.50. Our commission is $35. That's a big difference. See how much Waterhouse can save you. Call this number now for this free brochure. Price may bring a lot of customers in the door of Waterhouse Securities, but what keeps them here is service. We can execute a market order within three to six seconds. We provide a free standard and poor stock guide. We offer 500 to 600 no-load mutual funds. We're a member of the New York Stock Exchange. We have over 60 offices around the country. We give them the price, we bring them in the door, and then we give them outstanding service. Call this number for a free brochure comparing rates and services and start saving money now. All right, as we continue set number three, Kelsey and Olmuller won the first set 6-3. Williams and Groomberg won the second set 6-2. And right now, Kelsey and Olmuller lead in the third set. Again, you can see Bruce served, did not make an attempt to volley that ball. Already hit a great drive. Bruce was content to go back and play it off the screen. There's a good ball. He got oh, the nice get by Groom. No, no! 
Bruce yelling no, not to volley, but you I really think, have... I think you didn't want David to volley that one. <laughs> Bruce is very intense. Peter missed his first return. Let's see what he does with this one. Doesn't have to do anything. Return that time. Bruce went for a little action. He was going to really spin that ball off the back wire and make Peter move way over to the ad court side. I think side. after that first return, he should have maybe taken a little bit off that one, let Peter take another swing at it. He didn't look good on that first one. Artie's going to try to hit one right down the center again. Ball. Yeah, he did. Artie's got the big forehand also. 30-15. I think we'll see Kelsey really try to jam him. Probably come with some smoke, as hard as he can hit it. David fighting off those volleys. That ball is hit a little too high, and it's easier for them to see that overhead. Late decision, I think, to make that overhead. Yeah, Hardy was, again, a little tentative. He just... He likes that shot, Questioning them, yeah. that shot, and then he's thinking. Chance to go up to love. Another fault. 40-30. 40-30. Two faults in a row to Groenberg's side. That's a good serve. That's a great serve. Forces Artie to make kept, a mistake. Kept Artie on the back wire there. Had another reversal here. Oh, this is another said. one of those streaks that we were talking about. So all it took was a little offense from Bruce and David there. Back nice in. Nice call it. there by my partner. And Grunberg serving. And a huge game here. He puts a little too much on it. The ball's a couple inches long. Now we're gonna now we're gonna see what these champions are made of here. Down a break. No. And two balls. They won it last year. 6-4, six, 6-3 six, over Erskine and Gillespie. Now Peter putting himself in a hole with two faults. He's trying to hit it, but he's just pushing it a little too far. Good spin in the wires. David digs it out. Goes for the nick. Nice flipper. Might have taken an out ball there. And they're playing, playing there's a, there we, here's our tournament host. 15-40. Double break point for the chance for Kelsey and Omoller to go up 3-0 in the third set. Volley. No, two short, great though. volleys there. They, they got themselves out of trouble there. Two short balls. A slash. Bruce That's comes like back Bruce. with tries a reversal. also keeps on the very defensive. I think what they want to do here is to try to move Bruce around a little bit more. They definitely got to work him over to make David yeah. uh, be a little bit of a spectator here for a while. Yeah, there you they can go. See get about 80% of the balls are going to Bruce even when the lob goes to Artie. 
see if David will get a little anxious and start to move out of the corner and get himself out of position. You will certainly see him start creeping over, and once he gets an opportunity, he's going. He's still staying in there. You can yeah. watch him, and he's still yeah. ready to go. Obviously, Peter and Artie have that same tension to work Bruce over, keep him moving around that deuce court side. hit about 15 straight yeah, shots yeah, they out of him. The they the forced the air. They wore him down. That is uh, definitely the plan, it looks like. 30 40. Well, they've got this but big got point to, to dodge David. here. They're going to they're gonna let Bruce beat him. If they, Bruce can beat him, they're going to take it. They don't want to mess with David. And that's why. There's the big yeah. forehand. Yeah. And another reversal. It's like Good a strategy, match. but if you, uh, you have to go back to David that's sometimes. Right. He does have to return came, the serves, unfortunately. It came down to serving, though. Peter, you know, put, that, put that ball in the box a little short. Not, it was a little easy, and David's certainly going to capitalize on it, and he did. Well, those serves get shorter and shorter also as the score gets uh, deeper into the third set, and you're down. Now they're down two breaks. Here's that winning return of serve by Omeler. David really takes it early. The ball's on the rise, short, and though. he's right mm -hmm. over it. The serve was short and certainly made it a lot easier for David to hit a good return. Peter knows it was short. David drinking his Gatorade mix in between for a little energy. Certainly Bruce and David want to keep the momentum going here. A they future, have the sun at their back. A future paddle player walking around. And a reminder once again that uh, all the players came out, had a lot of fun the few days that this tournament was run here at Montclair and at Short Hills, but again, the, the true benefactors of this, the Children and Children's Specialized Hospital, the proceeds of the tournament went to benefit Children Specialized, located in Mountainside, and so they were the, the true winners of this tournament, so congratulations to everyone involved for the effort on behalf of Children Specialized Hospital. Bruce still trying to pump up David. Peter with a long return. I think Bruce and David can sort of sense a little trepidation from Williams and Groenberg. They look a little bit unsure of themselves. He's going to swing at it. And they let it go they through. Let it go. The volley. David comes back. This is a great exchange. Both teams are hanging in. Now that they've got pace back, are they going to start to go back at Bruce? No, we won't know. I think so. 15 all. Let's see what kind of a serve David comes up with here. Those Kept yeah. him out wide. Couldn't get all of it. Nice slow roller. Look at Artie's eyes. He's watching the ball, but he's really squinting. Bruce Heck. looking, yeah, got the corner, yeah, but Peter, Peter was ready. Peter covered for Artie. That's a, that's a tough lob. They got to settle down again. Williams and Groenberg making a few errors. He made a play. He's going out. No! Let it go. Then Bruce had backed off the net, and he took a little better Fine. view of that ball they and knew that it had a little sense it. extra pace on it. And in case you didn't quite get that, that one was long. Bruce letting everybody know. <laughs> I think he fooled him with that volley there. 40-15. A chance to go up four love. What a volley. Oh, oh great play. Tremendous move. He picked that one out of midair. That had trouble going back, leaning backwards on that last forehand. Already standing in the shade to start out with, but has to come out in the sun to hit. David did not make an attempt to even volley that either. The volley hit the snowboard. Nice and soft volley. And my error before was actually 15-40, uh, and so game on that point goes to uh, Williams and Gruenberg. Huge game yeah, for Williams and they Gruenberg. Needed. They were being uh, threatened with being uh, rolled out of the park here, and they come back again. This is why they're champions. You don't get to 15 at 18 finals and win a couple of national titles. By packing it in when it gets no, a little that's tough. Right. Uh, good competitors. 
putting a new ball in play, and they're just trying to hit it a couple times. Already probably take a practice serve. Bruce, Bruce hits a good practice return. Practice return. All right. Now we'll see if we got a match here. Already had trouble last time on a serve with his son. And if Artie does not put it down the middle here, Bruce will take a good swing at it. And he did get it in the middle. It's a good serve. He had trouble with that one. Son caused him to miss at that overhead. Dave is looking for the offense. Bruce with it. David came, came over. over. Yeah, came over a little too much. I think he was looking for a faster ball. There was sort of a change of pace overhead. This is, it. this is where David, I think, will try to come back right away with all the heat he can hit. Nice volley. Let's go, Kelsey, on a nice poach. Groomberg with a great volley. Kelsey was there and slid it by him. Key to that was David's return. He hit it easy enough to drop it below the top of the net, forced the volley up, and Bruce came in and finished off the point. David cuts in front of Bruce to make that play. No, no. Oh, forced the volley error from Peter. Peter was sort of leaning back on that one. David might have fooled him. It doesn't take much if you're off a little bit. That ball sails. It's a small court. Ooh. He David is not happy with himself on that one. And he said so many so times many that he times. has not hit the ball into the net so many I times. I think maybe two, <laughs> but for him, that's, that's a bunch. 30 all. Oops. Miscommunication. Good volley. Good, great volley. Looks like at the net, the, at least on one side of the court, it's becoming a little easier to see. I look at Peter, he looks like he's not having yep. as much trouble with the, the lobs, especially. Good lob, very deep lob, and they switch positions. There's the angle. Look at that get. No, oh, we couldn't cook it around. Bruce moving right to left, flipped the volley back across his body into the deep corner. Williams couldn't get there. We have break 30 point 40 here. at this 30 point. 30 40. 30 40. Another big game right here. Big point. You know what David's going to do. Have to serve by him. Yeah, that was a great That's serve by him. There's the slash. And the ball's going to be hit. Going to hit it. Nice great. volley. Move. Hardy with a reach back volley there. He's going again. This is where David's at his best when he's bouncing around in there. And they try to move him out way out of the wires and hit an easy one back there. In this game, you see David hitting a lot more balls. I'm sure they're ready for it. You, you. Oh, he tried oh. to flick it. Tried to flip it, and he got there a little late. I think he thought Bruce was yeah. going to hit that ball. It's good to get battle back to do this for exactly right. Good character building right Marty. there. These guys another are good serve. These guys are tough. There's a big forehand, sure-handed volley. Bloomberg was there. Stopped him from point blank range. Lob. Stretching him out on the lob. Looking for that overhead to come out of the wire. Surprised they're coming back to David's side Absolutely. as much as they're coming back to him. They had good success before. Oh, oh this David is playing. Yeah. They might be going back to David's side because of what you said about the sun. It could be. It because could be. The, the lob coming out of Bruce's corner is it's giving be, him a little more trouble. A little trouble there, so they must be doing it on this side. We'll see if they change when they get back to the other side. Hey, Joe Muller. There's the heat. He didn't see it. Good recovery. They're going to have to be patient now. Nice. No, no spike. He, he was looking spike. for it, but it's tough to do the spike. That son. Get, uh, down in the third. Yeah. On break point also. Oh. Nice flip. It barely went over the net. Peter is fighting that son. Here it comes. Oh, no. Slow ball again, got him, that was tight. Yeah, Kelsey no Bowler with the game. Uh, he definitely lost that one too. I think the glare off yeah, the court the is making a big problem. 
he's he usually doesn't miss that point. He's got a big swing. Well, that's his strength. That's his strength. He uh, had one right in his swinging range. Four one though. It's going to be it's going to be an uphill battle. They're going to need to keep that ball. I think they're going to need to keep it coming to Bruce's side. I think that uh, their strategy with the sun it. at their back. They switched up here. Olmuller now on the right. And then on the next right. shot, Olmuller is going to be right in the middle here of the court for the winner. See. There it is. He it's knows gone. that he was way ahead of that ball. I think he lost it off the glare. 4-1. Yeah. We're going to see. I think you're right, Scott. I think they're going to go back to, to Bruce's corner that, that stopped the streak to begin with. And we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Yeah. Now Bruce Kelsey will have the serve. He's been serving well. He'll be keeping especially Artie sort of at bay with the serve off, off the side screen and that carries along the back wire. Yeah. It's tough for Artie to get around on that one. And Kelsey's won two of his last three serves. Oh, we'll see how he moves that ball around. He likes to serve, well, serve to Peter in the news court. Bruce likes to serve it down the center of the service box, try to get it to kick off that back wire and move Peter way over to the ad court. See if he fires his first serve in. Sometimes it's tough just coming off after a break to hit one that well. Oh, he got a swing in it. Did. It was a good return good by return. Peter. That wasn't enough, enough spin on that one, Bruce. I thought it was going to really spin it in there. There's the ball so starting going, to go back to going Bruce. Back to Bruce, so, it, so we can definitely guess that it was the sun factor. That one he had to hit there, a little yeah. nick. So the, the ball like that has to be put. When balls are coming back deep across court, it's difficult to hit, hit it the, toward Bruce. It forced that Bad volley spot. in the wrong spot. Bad spot there. Come on, let's go. Bruce Kelsey wants from Short moves. Hills, Olmuller from Montclair. Trying to win the championship. Yeah, Bruce fired that one a little long. A little adrenaline rush there, I yeah. think. <laughs> 15 all. I want Peter to take a swing at this ball if it's there. Now there's one. We thought maybe put it off the wires. There's a let cord. It didn't oh, go. It won't go over. Will not go. What you, what you, the net is very tight here. If you notice, it's, very, it's highly strung. We didn't get any let cords the whole weekend <laughs> ourselves. So I mean, we can see that one. It's very tight. Tough to get the ball to go over. 40-15. Bruce serving well. That was a little sloppy on the forehand, but Bruce pumped the serve home. They threatened to go up 5-1. This is a big, big serve right here. They would have a huge command of this third set. Nice catch. Uh, David go. ran it down. Protected. But he had the right the, shot. Give the credit to Peter there. That serve was very hard. He took his time. He rolled the ball easily and set that point up. See if Artie can take us. Another swing at this one. There it Comes is. right back. Right back Great at return. Him. Deuce. Those guys are fighting back. It's their title. They don't want to give it up just yet. They've got to, though. They've got to win this game almost. Oh, terrific return by Peter. I'd like to see them both swinging. That means they still have some confidence. It's a dropper. A drop. That Too could get him in David trouble. Those hands. Picked it right out of the air. He's got that wrist, a supple wrist. From point blank range, Bruce is very appreciative of that. It gives him the advantage. Advantage, Kelsey. Artie's got to take one more rip at this serve. Bruce is going to challenge him. I think he'd try to serve down the middle if he could. No, he, no that was a good, good serve. serve. Artie's saying to himself, I should have let it play off the back screen. 5-1, Kelsey and Olmuller. Well, it's now or never for these guys. That's, that's true. We're going to see, but another streak here. One game in there from Williams and Groomberg, but that was a tight game as well. Tight serve on the first one. Peter 15. pressing, he just yeah. does not want that ball to be ripped at him, and he's what? trying to serve it a little too fine. He also don't want to be down love five here, looking at David Olmuller. He served a good ball, though. Good volley. The flip, Bruce has got that nice flip off the screen. 
get the feeling that David and Bruce feel that they can break this and win this match Absolutely. right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right They're here. Looking to, to knock him out. They've got him reeling. They got to take him out. Bruce playing confidently. It's a good forehand swing right there. Already with a good volley to keep it in play. Once again, the overheads are going back a little bit too much to Omaler, I think. They had their best success in the middle there when they were going at Bruce. They're fighting off every time David gets an offensive chance. Some great volleying to keep him up here at the net, not lose a point. This don't game think, is going to be a war. I don't think David's going to be the one to crack. I think they have to try to move the ball at Bruce. Force an oh. error if they can. Oh, that was. Well, that took a weird hop out of the corner. You, David shooting. was ready for he it. He was ready for it. But it came out very quickly, and you right. have to change the angle of your paddle and just to keep it in play. He made a good move at it, but just didn't flick it high enough. Here's a big serve for Peter. Let's see him hit a good one here. Kept it that big play. forehand off the screen. That's two this game already. There's the two hander again. David's looking for the offense. Yeah, it looks like Barty and Peter keep looking for it. They want to see that ball being hit at him, and they keep feeding David. Good touch volley. Yeah, Bruce was a great shot. Bruce is really playing well here in the latter stages of the third. Here comes Bruce's slasher. slash. Artie's down, Digs almost on his knees. Artie and Peter switch. Coming out. Shot. Oh, There's a great nice. shot down the line. David oh. tries a little trick shot. A little showboat shot. Nothing he could do on that one. That's a that's a five one up shot there, the behind the back special. <laughs> I think so. Made famous by Charlie Stevens <laughs> at the Morristown Field Club. <laughs> Bruce a little too pumped up, pushes the volley long. He David. had the spot. 40-15. David set him up. But the champions are fighting back, not just yet. They're not giving up yet. Long, 40-30. The only two points, pressing. only two points he's lost are two faults. He's got to put the ball in play, definitely give himself pressing. a chance. You know, David's bringing the heat here. There it is. What a volley tremendous. and tremendous depth. Uh. That was a fabulous volley like by right Peter. The corner. Bruce showing good offense off the screens here on the forehand side especially. Yeah. See that ball coming down the middle a little bit more. There's a, there it is That's again. That's a great spin. We've seen it again. Nice shot. I will say that it takes a lot of guts to do that at this stage in the match, but he knows it's an effective shot. Drew and Bergen Williams with the win. I tell you, we, we talked about this being a game of streaks. Well, we have a, a little moment here. Six first games, nobody held serve. Then, uh, Kelsey and Omuller won five games in a row, including uh, three in a row that won out the first set. But then, Gruenberg and Williams came back to win six games in a row to win the second set. And at this point, now Kelsey and Omoller have won five of seven here in set three. So it has been a game of swing. This, this is a, it, it's, a, it's a strange thing, but it happens so often. The matches are close, but anything can turn it. And Peter and Artie, right now, are looking to keep their momentum going after that nice hold. Especially yeah. with comeback, too, because Peter served the first ball as a fault. And you don't want to be staring down David Omaler at love 15, uh, trying to keep yourself in the match. There's David right there. Now, if you're Gruenberg and Williams, you're thinking, well, we just won a game, so we are in. in a little bit of roll. Right. And Omiller has only won one of his six service games. Well, Ooh, good this, stat there, Paul. Good stat. This serve right here will be a big serve to Peter. You certainly want to get out in front and have David Bruce trying to catch up. Absolutely. I think David's going to try to serve it to Peter's forehand. There it is. He did. Peter hit it. Nice ball. Came out slow. Good ball. He's there. A little too hard off the screen. Oh, he lets it Great go. Lob. And then, oh, and then gets the, the net cord. Bruce He's is going to get it. There's an angle. It's going to go it. too long. Nice point. 
Great, great point. point led by Gruenberg. Great point. They're not done yet, folks. No. Artie's going to get his swing at it here, too. Great serve by David. David. It kept like it along the wire. Oh, that was so close to being a fault. That's a great serve. Uh-oh. Now, see, that could have been the glare, too. That one is onto Prospect Avenue there. Oh, and a lucky fan has the ball. <laughs> Peter swung. That's the problem. The timing of that ball went right off the edge of the paddle and cleared the court. He, won he needs to keep swinging, though. He needs to hit that ball. He lets it go to the wire. I think that's a mistake for them. I think he needs to keep the offense up. Bruce and David content to just keep them at the back court. Very patient. They're going to take their chances with the offense when they get them, but they're not going to force the issue. Notice how Artie let that one go. Let Peter take a swing at it off the back wire. That's a tough play. Great lob. He's going to swing. That's down the a line. great shot. Stays there. Oh, he, oh, he pushes it too. He pushed oh. it. I thought he was going to go for the dropper there, the reverse angle dropper. It would have been the right time for it, but too tough. Tried to push it through Kelsey. Pushed it on. 30-15. 30-15. Miller and Kelsey, away. two points away. Good swing again. He's going to hit it. And he's going to hit it again. again. Uh, got to put it up there. That's good. good. That's going to be trouble. Bruce makes the volley. That was it. They let that one go, and that's trouble. Bruce, oh, very vocal. vocal. There's a neck along the wire. Great right dig. Digs it out. And a oh, great good. volley. Great volley, and championship points. Double championship Double points. Forty fifteen. Well, I'd still like to see Peter take a good rip at this ball. At take I a good swing. Take Just a can't put it in play. He's got to go for the point right here. He did hit it. It's great. There, though. Watch the flip. Bruce is there. He got Bruce. it. Bruce makes got the volley. It. Great flip. Very happy. Great play. Bruce and, Bruce and David, I think, deserve, deserve the championship. They serve very well and played a real outstanding match today. Peter and Artie Great fought, fought hard, uh, tried to come back, but I think David and Bruce uh, had their year. Yeah, had the edge. Their year. They played very well. Really, David's year, huh? That's David right. David, is, David has not, not lost yet this year in any of those tournaments he's played. He's really proven he's got some offensive advantage. And here is championship points. See the nice drive by Peter, not shy. David Great. going for the flip off the screen. Bruce stays in because Stay. he knows he's going to hit it, and he flips it back. Couldn't get it. Peter Beat him to the, the short volley. side. And the reaction by Bruce Kelsey, and then he looks for his teammates. So Bruce Kelsey of Short Hills, David Olmiller of Montclair. They are the 1995 APTA National Champions. And we'll be back to uh, with the trophy presentation from courtside right after this. Looks like you're car shopping. Running all over town. Trying to see as many cars as you can. Looking for the right car at the right price. Well, now there's a brand new way to shop for a car from Warnock. It's called the Car Buyer's Review, with 36 fact-filled pages of over 100 models. For your free copy, just call 1-800-WARNOCK. With over 100 car models to choose from, we'll never give you the runaround. Warnock.
there really is a difference. Welcome back to the Montclair Golf Club, and once again, the president of the APTA, Charlie Stevens. Thank you, Paul, and again, it's my pleasure, but somewhat reluctantly, to award the silver medals from the APTA to this year's finalists, last year's winners, Pete Grunberg. Pete, congratulations. Job well done. Thank you. And Artie Williams. Artie, nice Thanks, job. Thanks, Thanks very, very much. much. Great Thanks match. Done. Great match. You're great athlete Thank to you. the game. Now we would like to have Jerry Graham, the chairman of the men's event this year, to come forward, make a presentation to the finalists. Thank you, Jerry. Over here, Jerry. Uh, Peter. Uh, Peter and Artie. Uh, Congratulations, it was a wonderful match. Thank you, Mr. Graham. Thanks for everything you Not did. The tournament was spectacular. You're <laughs> outstanding. Thank you. Enough. Arnie Dietrich, President of Lanil, of Lan <laughs> the, uh, the uh, Grand Prix event, uh, also has a presentation for the finalists. Arnie? Thank you guys for some great paddle. Some great paddle. Each year it gets better and better, and I have for you a check for the finalists' share Thank in you. the tournament. Thank you. Once again, great, great thanks play. very Thank much. You. Pete and I would like to say thanks very much to Lino Group. They've been supportive for the past several years, and without them, a lot of this wouldn't have been true. Mr. Dietrich is a great asset to the game. We really appreciate his efforts, and thanks very much for everything you've done. Don't stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. Great final today. Paul, now I think we'd like to get this year's national champions out here. Bruce Kelsey and David Allmuller. It gives me great pleasure, David, to present you the gold medal symbolic of the national championships for this year. And to the old man of the crew, Bruce Kelsey, who I'm sure this means a lot to, as national champion, 1995. Congratulations, Bruce. We'd like to have Jerry Graham come back. A lot of traveling with these. Great, thank David, you. thank you very, nice very much. Uh, it was a wonderful tournament, yeah. and Bruce, great it's great to see an old guy do well. And to present the winners with the championship bowl, the president, I'm sorry, the chairman of this year's overall event, who has done a really outstanding job for the entire weekend, Larry Chapin. tournament is complete without a bowl, and this is a rather important bowl, gentlemen symbolizing the national championship. David, a congratulations. Thank a wonderful you. tournament to you both. Bruce, yeah, congratulations, you man. Thank you. And once again, Arnie Dietrich with those checks for the winners. When we started this program several years ago, we were looking for new blood and new young people to come help grow this sport. Well, I think we have found some today. It's a great, great turn. It was good. David? Thanks a lot. We'll be back here many, many more times. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, you got to say that to him. I'm not so <laughs> sure <to> me. <laughs> no, no. But well, my legs may be soon. Well, gentlemen, as long as I've got you here, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Bruce, it's nice that finally somebody mentioned Youngblood and, and brought you uh, your name into this. Everybody else was saying that you're the, the old war horse of this tournament, but how does it feel uh, to be the national champion for 95? Uh, it's very hard to explain. It feels spe spectacular. It really feels fabulous. It's been a long time. I've played this tournament many times, come uh, fairly close, uh, never been in the finals, and it just feels fabulous. It was a strange game of streaks uh, after you guys had won five in a row to win the first set and the first two games of the second set. They went on a roll and won six games in a roll. D did anything happen in that particular streak where they were doing so well? Uh, well, they picked it up and uh, we uh, sort of had a second set mental lapse, I guess, and uh, they, you know, played better and then we were able to turn around in the third set and pick it up again. It's a streaky game. No, no doubt about it. And David, uh, you guys put in a good early streak in the third set. Although when it came down to that last game, I don't know when you were serving that you were only one of six 
for your serves as you started that last game. And uh, tell me that <laughs> good thing you didn't know at the time. Uh, what were your thoughts as, as you went back to serve? Did you guys talk about anything as you served that last game? We did, Ashley. said, uh, serve it out. So I really just wanted to do it and uh, end it there. So it was, uh, it was good to serve it out and win it. As the, the day got a little uh, longer and the sun started setting, uh, did it bother you and, and uh, your teammate in any way? I think we played the sun really well, actually. So it was, uh, it was definitely bothersome, but we were lobbing well, so it uh, was good. Yeah, I was going to say, you seemed to make uh, sure that your opponents had a little more trouble with it than, uh, than you fellas did. That's what we were trying to do, yeah. And one final thing, Bruce, looked for a while there that they were hitting a lot of shots at you. They were, I, I thought, trying to get you more involved in the game, take David uh, out of it, but lull him a little bit. Uh, did you notice that? And then all of a sudden they changed their strategy. Well, that kind of makes sense because you don't really want to hit it to David's <laughs> forehand too often. And uh, it's what we try to set up. And uh, I don't know, I guess we managed to do it just enough times. All right, Bruce Kelsey, David Olmoller, thank you very much. Thanks, Congratulations, thank 1995 you, right. national thank champions. And That'll wrap it up for our coverage of the 1995 APTA Nationals. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast. And once again, from the Montclair Golf Club, good night, everybody.